I have an announcement for you all. Because the person who is involved in this announcement is here. So, <clears throat> chat, I know how it feels to be lonely, to not have a mother. I know, I've been taking care of you all as a single father, and life has been tough as a single father. Being a sexy big daddy, and ugh, I hate that. Why do I use those words? Ugh. All right, sorry. <clears throat> so as I was saying, it's hard being a single father and everything. Well, chat, specifically Sarah, I've got you guys a mummy. <laughs> you now have a mummy. <laughs> yes. Chat, you have a mummy dom now as your thing. You do. Father has been scouring wide and found you guys a mother. A mum? Yes, you guys have a mum now. Her name is Frost. She's lovely, she's nice, and she's also all the attributes of a mummy. Quite literally. Oh my god. Also, no, Montagna, you will not pay 200 fucking dollars just to make me say the N word with as a cat. Hold on. I need to fucking phrase that properly. I just. <laughs> Okay, you know what I mean? The cat noise! The cat noise! I'm talking about the cat noise! Chat, it's the cat noise, I swear! Hold on! Hold on, it's the cat noise! Tell me your name, meaning. <coughs> Not Fumiko, Fumio. Fumio's name meaning is... Uh, writings and generation. That's what it means. Writings and generation. <laughs> Technically speaking, if you really want to. I was gonna make it part of the law, but I was like, it's not that important to be part of the law. But uh, to answer the question of what is the last name of Fumio, if anyone is wondering. My last name as Fumio is actually Fumio uh, Kiritsugu Fumio. Kiritsugu Fumio. I'm gonna change my name after the stream. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> Sarah Kiritsugu. Ah, yes, because we're all one big family, boys. <laughs> Appa, how did you meet Mama? I met Mama through mutual friends. I met Mama through mutual friends. Um, people I play Apex with and people I just hang out with. I met her through then. And we started talking on DMs and things. She sort of, like, hit it off. I don't think she's hit off. Mm -hmm. That's basically how it happened. <laughs> It's a simple story. I would like to say that there was like a grandiose story, but it's a very thing. It's a very simple thing. It was mutual friends, and from mutual friends, we went to, you know, things started progressing after we realized that we both have a lot of things in common and everything. And chat, I know you'll approve of her very greatly because she, listen to this, she's a Doctor Who fan. She's just as much of a fanatic as I am. Y'all gonna make me... All right, here we go.